Hi, I'm Ray from the Radio Workshop. In a bit of a mess. Let's turn this. I'm just in the middle of restoring this radio look. Anyway, you're not here to see that, are you? This is what you want to see. <sighs> Should have cleaned the bench. It's a Dayton D70 Morse Tutor. There we are, if I turn it on. There. Yeah. Now I know quite a few of you will say, I have one of those, or I've still got one of those. Back in the, oh dear, um, a long time ago, many, many decades ago, when I first learnt Morse, I got one of these. This isn't the, the original. Unfortunately, when I passed the Morse exam, uh, I went to North Foreland Radio, you know, um, radio office there, took the exam, he sent Morse, and uh, I had to write it down, and I sent Morse to him, and uh, I passed, fortunately. Um, I got hold of one of these. Now, a couple of radio amateur friends of mine actually came and you know, one of them came to my house, I went to the other one's house, they bashed out Morse, etc, uh, etc, et and they helped me a great deal. But this was the real help. I got one of these, I forget what it cost back then, I just bought this from eBay. Um, I forget what it cost, but the minute I got it, that was it, I was hooked on this. It really helped me, wherever I went, I'd have it on the passenger seat in the car, uh, I'd have it I had headphones, a little headphone socket. I had headphones if I was sitting in the lounge, families watching TV. I've got the headphones on, listening to the Morse and writing it down. <laughs> I even took it into the bathroom. How about that? On the windowsill in the bathroom. Morse code echoing around the bathroom. Fantastic. But from knowing no Morse at all, well, I think I knew SOS. That was about it. I didn't know any Morse at all. To passing the exam was three months. There we are, 12 weeks, that's all, 12 weeks. I mean, it's only 12 words a minute, the exam. I think I got up to about 14, 15 words a minute to be safe, you know. Um, and this is what did it for me. You can turn, obviously, volume. You've got letters, mixed, or numbers. Mixed is uh, quite interesting, because you don't know what's coming next. It's a letter or a number. Um, there's, uh, let me just show you. That's at 20 words a minute there. You can turn the speed down like that. OK. Or is it the Farnsworth method, they call it, where you keep the, the character sent quickly, but there we are. You can adjust the gap. So you can listen to the character sent properly. Not It's no good listening to, to Morse like this. Hang on. That's no good. That's D. That's H. You're not getting the rhythm you need. Uh, hang on, where are we? That's what you need. A bit too fast, that. Like that. So each letter is sent at a proper speed, but there's a big gap between letters. Anyway, what I do is wind that right up. And then I've, I've got this because I'm trying to increase my speed. At the moment, I'm on about about that. It's about 20 words a minute, I think, according to this. OK, so this was absolutely wonderful. It was such a, an aid. Turn that off. Um, as I say, but once I passed the exam, I sold it, which was a great mistake. You yeah, know, when I said 20 words a minute, that's what I got the setting on. That's a little bit faster than is comfortable for me. You, you want to listen to Morse too fast for you when you're learning or trying to increase your speed. It's no good. It's like when you play chess. It's no good playing chess against someone that you're going to beat hands down every time. You want someone better than you. Um, so yeah, I think I'm on about, I can do 15 words a minute comfortably. I'm trying to get up to about 25. Um, a, a friend of mine the other day, he said, oh, but that's not proper Morse code, is it? And I said, what do you mean it's not proper Morse code? He said, well, it's groups of five letters, groups of five numbers, or groups of five mixed. And he said, it's not like writing you know, sentences, words. I think that's the advantage of this. If you, I mean, I've got various you know, online apps and stuff, and you go to websites, and it bashes out Morse code for you. Um, there's one I do quite a lot. It's uh, it bashes out quotations uh, by various people. The thing is, if you're writing it down, if it says 
I live in a big, and the next step, you've got H-O, you're going to think house. So you write down U-S-E before the, it's even finished sending it, only to find it's a hostel or hotel, right? You've then written the wrong word down. The next word's coming along. Hang on, I've lost that. And then you, you're totally lost. So I like the random letters because you, you haven't got a clue what's coming next. Um, also with this, you can plug your key into it. So if I turn him on, there we are. How about that? So you plug your key into practice, use it as a, an oscillator. You can't plug a paddle key into you know iambic type keying. You can't plug a paddle key in key into paddle P. <laughs> dear. Peter Piper picked a yes, whatever. Um so as I say it's got key socket, headphone socket, PP3 battery in there. When I got this, it said it worked on eBay. Yeah, all working. Didn't work at all. Battery was corroded. The battery wires had corroded, the clip had fallen apart, the switch was seized up, hadn't been used in decades, all the pots were filthy, I had to give it a bit of a, only a bit of a clean up, a bit of a service. This is an old uh, Czech army uh, key from the 50s I believe, I quite like that one, That's, uh, I've, I've, got, I've got a paddle key, I'll show you a bit of that in a minute. So yeah, there we are. Um, as I say, I think groups of five random letters and numbers is better than sentences or proper words. Um, maybe when you get going a bit, go on to one of the apps that you can get online and uh, you know a lot of them will send paragraphs out of books or whatever, so you can write that down. But uh, I don't like to know what's coming next. Uh, of course, when you go from random letters to actually receiving uh, well, a friend says proper Morse code. <laughs> uh, you'll find it's, it's easy uh, because you are then beginning to see what's coming next. Of course, what you can do is go on the HF amateur bands, shortwave amateur bands, um, and have a listen to real Morse. The trouble is a lot of it is fast. On 80 metres, what is it? Um, I forget. There's a Facebook, um, what is it? Slow CW UK Facebook page. I joined that recently. Uh, just out of interest, 3556 kilohertz, I think. I've had a listen. Um, there's some slow morse. I think they do about 10 words a minute, which is good for anyone wanting to refresh or you know, get back into it or just get started. So have a listen around the amateur bands. There's not a lot of morse outside the amateur bands these days, unfortunately. Have a tune around, see what you can find, especially at night. There are various beacons and things that use CW. Um, talking of shortwave, Ian from uh, Newcastle. Hello Ian if you're watching. Ian rang me the other day trying to get an aerial up. He's in a block of flats 75 feet up, so good height, but interference. You know, hang a wire out of the window, all you're doing is picking up interference from all the flats. Anyway, have a look at this video clip. This is me um, using the paddle. hope the lighting's all right for this. I always have trouble with the lighting. I've had to bring you into the radio room to show you the paddle key because it's connected to the transmitter. I'm just going to give you a demonstration. I didn't do the question mark on the straight key, did I? That's it. So you've got dashes, dots, Okay. Someone else said to me about this, oh, you can get apps on your phone. You don't need to buy one of these. You know, this is all old fashioned. You've got everything on your phone now and all sorts of Morse code things. I know that, I know that's true and I've got all that. I just like this. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you don't like it, don't get one. I like it, so I got one. I do like this because it's, with your phone, you know, you've got to go to the app or your iPad or whatever, you've got to go to the app, you've got to start it off, you've got to adjust the speed. With this, you could just muck about with it. You're driving along in your car, it's on the passenger seat, you could turn the volume up. 
you can turn the speed up as you go. You haven't got to worry about all that messing about. There we are. I like standalone things. And you probably gathered from all my other millions of videos where I like internet radio, a standalone internet radio. People have said, oh, you get all that on your phone. I know, I know you can. I prefer standalone things. Anyway, there we are. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you like the, the paddle key. Uh, yeah, as I said that in the video, that's a single paddle. I did have a nice double, you know, twin paddle thing, which you can do proper iambic keying on that. Uh, I say you and not I, because I can't do it. I can't do proper iambic. That's when you squeeze the two together. If you squeeze the dot one and then that, uh, the dash first, it'll go da 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 da. The other way around, it'll go da 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 da. Yeah, something like that. Um, yes, I do. I used to use a twin paddle all the time, not for iambic, but just for uh, for sending ordinary morse. I like that, but now I've got this single paddle, which I've got used to, and I do like it. It's, if you're sending a lot of morse, you know, which I'm not really, a key, you know, a, a straight key like this, you can get a bit worn out in the end. Whereas the paddle, as you can see, is just like that, just like that. There we are. You have to rush out. Do you know, I was going to say rush out and buy one of these. They're pretty rare, but just recently I've seen quite a few of these up for sale on eBay and other places. So uh, off you go and buy one. <laughs> I'll see you on the air sometime with the old key. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Have a CW contact. Right, I'm getting ready for storm, whatever it is coming in, is it? I can't remember what it is now. We've had several storms. So I'm going to batten down the hatches and I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching as always. Bye bye for now.